Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Your Favorite Haitian Couple. <laughs> All right, so uh, what did we talk about last episode? How we met. How, our first date. Our first date. How we met was our first episode. So welcome back, welcome back guys. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about our first trip. So, you know, we live in Florida and we're about two or three hours away from Orlando. At Universal Studios, there's this thing called Halloween Horror Nights that, you know, happens every year. So, I remember asking her, my um, Faye, if she ever ever gone before, and she was like, no, she's never been to Holiday Horror Nights. I was like, what, what, what? What made you think it was okay to ask me to go, though? Because that's, okay. I asked you to go because that's something that I kind of do every year, or used to do every year. It's just like, I've never really missed the Holiday Horror Nights, so. Who did you do it with? Uh, does, it, does it really matter? <laughs> If you, if you really want to know. I don't want to know. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Well, you asked. Go ahead. Okay, so who did I do it with? Moving on. Tell the story. Tell okay. the story. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay. So I asked her if she wanted to go. So she said yes. So I was like, okay, cool. So I um, invited her to uh, go to Hard and Hard Nights. And of course, I kind of make sure I you know, put all the plans together. You know, I bought the tickets and I make sure, you know, because, you know, since it was technically our first trip together, so I make sure she kind of enjoyed, you know, the whole trip. So I picked out know. the hotel room, by the way. Yes, she did. Because he was going to put us in some kind of bootleg, you know, rundown hotel okay. room. Okay, look, room. understand, I'm not, I'm not a hotel goer guy. She used to work, she worked, she used to work in the hotel business. So she knows all about hotel. I don't. So that's why I let her pick the hotel. Um, I think we all know about stars. Three, four, five. Look, a three star hotel to me is good enough, okay? She she don't roll that way. She wants a four star. Five star. I stand corrected. But I said for star. a four star, you know. But that was that was damn near five star. Okay. That was that wasn't okay, it was a beautiful hotel, no lie. But anyway, so you know, we got the tickets uh to Holler and Horror Nights and I make sure I purchased the fast pass. Because without the fast pass we would have been in lines for hours. Forever, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Packed. Oh, it was packed. You know, so the fast pass allows us to go to the VIP line where we just cut the line directly into the um, the haunted houses. First of all, you skipped the whole part. Okay. Before we even went on the trip, he had to ask my parents or did I tell them about it? You told them about that. Okay, so I was so nervous. I was like, yo, how am I gonna tell my parents that I'm going on a trip? You aren't my boyfriend. You we were just like dating at that time. By the way, guys, this this shirt is from Miss Face Closet, and this T-shirt is also from Miss Face Closet. You, you know? can purchase it online at MissFaceCloset.com. Yes. Anyways, back to the trip. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I didn't know how to tell my parents. Yes, I did have a son already, and I was a little bit older in my twenties, but I was still afraid to, you know, Haitian parents still on lockdown at that age. No matter what, I'm still the baby. <laughs> It was weird. I was like, hey, mom, dad. Yes, I was still living with my parents. I'm like, is it okay if I go to a Halloween Horror Night with Mark? Uh, you know what, guys? They took a little moment before they answered, but they did say, yes, it's okay. I can go. I was shocked. I was like... And what? Mind you, I have yet to even meet her parents yet. I even, they heard a lot about you though. Yeah, I, I haven't even had a chance to meet her parent and they told her yes and allow her to go I think on they a were trip. trying to like, you know, marry me off or something. Like, oh, she's dating yeah. someone serious? <laughs> so, but yeah, um, so I don't remember exactly how the, 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 the drive to Orlando. Um, I know we did a lot of talking. We did a lot of talking, um, getting yeah. to know each other, talking about the things we want in life. Oh, and one like thing that. I forgot to tell you. So let me tell you the conditions of this trip. Oh. 
she was allowed to go with me because she told them that I was gonna rent a bedroom with two, two separate beds. <laughs> <laughs> that we were gonna sleep on, you know, on separate beds. Mm -hmm. Okay? Which now, we did. We, we did. I got that room. Right. Okay, with a separate bed. And I was. Hold on. When you got the room with the separate beds, did you just get it to get it? Or did you really feel like we weren't gonna be sleeping in the same bed? No, what, see, what was going on in your mind? Here's the thing. Did you feel like, yo, I know we're going to be sleeping together? No. Okay, here's the be thing. Be honest. No, I'm being honest. Okay. What was going on in my mind is that... No, honestly speaking, at that point in my life, it's like I felt like I needed to do things differently from what I used to do before in my past relationships. And because I've, I've had too many failed relationships, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start doing things differently. So if a, if, if a girl tells me this and this and this and that, then I'm just gonna follow along and not try to pursue my own selfish desires by, you know, I don't know, it's like, yo, we're gonna be in a hotel room, so it, it, that has to happen, like we have to have sex. It's like, you know what? I mean, I'm gonna put those desires, you know, on the back burner and just follow her lead. So she wanted us to rent a room with two separate beds and that's exactly what I did. And he didn't try anything y'all. And I was being gentleman enough and I actually slept in my own bed mm -hmm. and she slept in the other head bed. And Such then it, a lady. You no, know, I didn't wake up in the middle of the night to try to hunch or nothing like that. Did you look at me though? I was dead tired sleep. Because the thing is when we get to Orlando, we went straight to Harlem Horror Nights. We didn't even stay at the hotel room. We only we, we only went back to sleep and spend an, an entire day because for any of you guys who's been to Halloween Horror Nights, well, matter of fact, for any of you guys who's been to Universal Universal Studios Orlando for an entire day, you know how tiring that can get. Which is true. So by the time you get home, you're ready to crash. So I was done. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Halloween Horror Night, our experience. So Halloween Horror Night. The experience. Honestly, okay. <laughs> so honestly. I have been to Harlem Horror Nights multiple times before, but that time had to be the first time that I've ever had this much fun at Harlem Horror Nights. I don't know, maybe she made it fun? I think it's because of me. Yeah. Oh, and I also had a friend that's hot. Gerard. <laughs> Gerard. Gerard and, and his that was friend. completely unplanned. I, I didn't even invite him. He just happened to be there at the same day that. For real? Yeah, I didn't invite him. Oh, I thought you invited him. I didn't even invite him. I, I found out he was going to be at Harlem Horror Nights on the same night we're going to be. So I'm like, hey, since you're going to be there, let's meet up together and just do this double date thing, right? So he was up here with a friend of his. What was his name again? Beautiful eyes. You did too. Thank you. Uh, here it is. So weird. That was weird. <laughs> but anyways, we had a friend that you know we met up with. Gerard there. was there. Let me and tell you guys about something that's a little bit more juicy, okay? Oh, alright. We got on our first ride. It wasn't the first ride. It was one of the one of the scary or scary scary haunted house. Yeah, it was it was scary. Uh, actually, I know what I know which one it was. It was the, the haunted. Uh, it was haunted. The haunted house. We had to walk through the whole. No, it was a theme. Uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Okay. It was so the walk we dead went on that house. ride and we had to walk through the walk um the the haunted house. Yes. <laughs> so you would think that Mark would try to protect me, hold me, say, "Bae, I got you." No, y'all. Mark put me right in front of him. Come on, you know I got you. And he used me as you. his shield. I got you. Listen, <laughs> no, Bae, for real, for real. He used me as his shield. So he just pushing me. like he was so scared. Like I'm like, really? Is this how you're gonna like impress me? And if, if something would jump out, he would just be like, uh, be like, uh, be like uh, and push me towards the monsters, okay? I don't remember it like that. What? I don't remember it like that. And I'm just in my mind, I'm like, oh, no, yeah, no, he ain't no, the one. No, no, he ain't no, the one. No, so no, what if somebody like try to like no. steal my bag or something? No. What are you gonna do? Push me to the to the to the volet? Like, no. here, take her. No. So I'm no. just like, in my mind, I'm like, oh no, this is not going to work. Say ah, forget. C'est pas comme ça, c'est pas comme ça que j'ai Babe, babe, real talk. Yo, okay. Mais comme mon bagarre a bien passé, this is how it really went. We were... <laughs> Go so, ahead. We went into the house, okay? 
So we were walking and everything. Uh-huh. So she wanted she wanted to use my arms as, as like some kind of protective <laughs> shield, right? So she grabbed my arms and wrapped my arms around her chest. So I mean, yo, I can show you exactly how. So I'm like, okay. So since she had my arms around her chest and she's in front of me, so I'm holding her like that. So of course, I mean, it was kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but the thing is, I was holding her tight. You know, I'm like, yo, I'm holding her tight. She's in front of me. I'm holding her tight. So and then we were walking and everything. Every time, every, every time, you know, something would jump out around the corner. So yes, I'm like, ah, you know, I'm like turning around because I'm still holding her, but I'm turning around with her and everything, you know, and pushing so, me in front of the monster. I don't remember pushing you. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Is it I monsters thought, or mummies? Whatever it was. Okay, whatever that was jumping at the corner is what that. So all right, so that's what? done. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, I don't think he's my type. He's not going to protect me. I need a protector. I'm good. I'm just gonna vibe out on this trip. Okay, that's my mindset. <laughs> so I'm like, or maybe it'll get better. Like you know, just like maybe it'll get better. So we're walking. We went on to another ride. I'm not sure what time it was, but we got on another ride. Um, I don't remember what it was. I think it was, a st- it was still the same ride. The same one? It was the same one. Okay, so we get out of the ride, and I noticed uh, a couple in front of us, and there's a, a box. Okay, like first a- of all, just for you guys who doesn't know what Holly Hall Night says, it's not really a ride ride, like where we just sit down or something. We actually walk through the house. We you know there's no ride, there's nothing we sit on. We actually walk through the house from room to room to room to room. Getting the, the crap scared out of us. Us. Okay. So yeah, oh, it you. was it, you. You were scared too. Mm-hmm. Okay. So <laughs> we're it's not a ride. We walked out of the haunted house, and you're thinking it's over. Oh, it's over. It's done. Okay, cool. But I'm walking, and I looked at the couple in front of us, and there's like a, a box or a, it was a wall. It was like a wall. Yeah. Uh, in the middle of nowhere and something just jumped out and scared the couple that was in front of us so i'm like "Ooh, i'm going to get marked i can't get scared i already saw what happened so i'm like babe what i said come to me or i was okay so the thing is as we're walking out faye and my friend's friend so she was with faye and they were both walking in front of us and i was in the back with my with my boy um gerard and we're just walking, we're talking, we're laughing, we're talking about what we just experienced and everything. And then there, there goes Faye calling me, I don't know, like, hey baby, come here, you know? So, of course, you know, I'm like, yo, this is a girl that I'm talking to, this is a girl that I'm really feeling and everything. So she's calling me, so of course, I'm just gonna, yes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of run up to her, you know what I'm saying, thinking like she needed something. And I'm like, yo, I'm like the knight in the shiny armor, just, you know, running up to her, saving, to save, saving the day and everything. So. So I got to her, so she's holding my hand, and then we walk in, and she's like talking to me and everything. But as we walk in, I'm not, I had nothing in my mind thinking that she was plotting something, right? I just thought I was just walking down uh, the, the pathway, you know, um, heading out the, uh, the haunted house, and out of nowhere, this wall, there was, okay, there was a wall kind of off the side of the house. But you, you just you clearly see that was a wall. But out of nowhere, something just jumped out behind the wall. Oh my goodness. It was embarrassing, okay? It was embarrassing and funny at the I same time. I don't care. I don't care if you had testosterone off the charts and you were pumping yourself full of steroids and everything. The way that went through, it would scare anybody shitless. Mark dropped to the ground Yo. and started oh, crawling. Oh, 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 oh. After getting scared, okay? I was not him backwards. Yo, it's like, it jumped in a split second I found myself on the ground. I didn't even know how I found myself on the ground. I was on the ground crawling backwards, running away from this thing because, I, yo, it was scary. I died. I died. I could oh not my goodness. stop laughing. I'm not only laughing, but I'm yo. also saying, okay, he failed the first test. This one really was a fail. Um, yeah, that's it. Yo, everybody would felt that. I was like, no, who cool points? Because you that? know, girl, ladies, <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? When you're with the man and you're in a situation like that, you want to see if he's going to, come here, babe. I got you, babe. Yeah, I'm going to protect you. Like, that was not the case for both situations. Okay, it was understand. Just okay, him yo, fellas. saving himself. Okay, fellas, okay? understand. If you're in situations like that, okay, first of all, 
understand if you were not raised in an environment where you like you know you have high reflexes that the moment something happened you know your survival instinct just kicks in how would you react in situations like that and no look it was scary I got scared okay yes I didn't try to protect you because you brought it this <laughs> and anyway that shit was scary he did not protect me y'all both times that shit was All scary. Right, no, so the first time I protected you. What are you talking about? Like, okay, this is, not, like this. this is not. This is not my like, man. It's this. like it's like a football player holding the ball, man. You also try not to fumble, man. Come on, like, I had you like this, like this, walking around the house. What are you type? Okay. To protect yourself. I was protecting you. Yourself. You. Yourself. You. Yourself. And first of all, you were holding my arm so tightly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let me go. <laughs> Don't let me go. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways. Now y'all know the story. So it's over now. We're gonna fast forward. It's over. He done showed himself out. Okay. <laughs> and we head back to the hotel room. Mm -hmm. We we went to sleep. Nope. We showered. <laughs> no, no, no. how it is. We showered and went to sleep. Okay. No. So before she and I met, okay, um, I was in this in this regiment where I was like going to the gym like six days a week, you know, like working out nonstop, you know. So I had like you know a nice body on me, you know what I'm saying? Like chest, had, you know, you still look had, you know, well, had. I mean, look, I'm working on it again. I'm working on it. We're so, working on it. We should make a video of us working out, but go ahead. Yeah, we're working on it. So you know, I had like, like those six bags, and I was built. I was like nicely toned and everything. So you know, you know, I, I look good. So. <laughs> So, after we got back from the hotel, so we were gonna take a shower. So normally we were supposed to shower separately, but I don't know what happened. We decided to shower together. No, it didn't go down. We didn't have sex. But while I was in the shower, we wanted to though. But we, we didn't. We wanted to, but you know, out of respect for her and because I wanted to follow her lead. I was testing him, y'all. I hopped in there to see if he was gonna be strong enough to resist all this. You know, like. Yes, yeah, mind you, she was like. No, it's she sad was, that you have to say was, but you know, we'll get back to that. Oh, she's still like. Okay, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> so we like, you know, in the shower, we like bathing each other and everything. So I don't remember all the details, but we decided to wash each other's back. So I can get my back, so she got my back, and then I got her back and everything. So. Anyways, we went to sleep. No. No. And, Babe, uh, that's it. Nope. So that's it. And uh, I don't know what was going on, but I think I was like washing my face or something like that. And then she was like, you know, kind of feeling me, you know. <laughs> she was feeling me and everything slowly but surely. She was feeling me. Next thing you know, she went, she went down there. But no, 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 not, not like that. She was just kind of, you know, just ex inspecting the tool. You know. You are lying. No, no, no. You're lying. She was gone You're lying to our viewers. So, and the next thing you know, it's like, of course, I mean, look. All right, look, moving look, on, look, look, babe. Look. Can I finish? <laughs> Let me finish the other story. So, now, of course, you know, it's awake. And, <laughs> you hot? <laughs> yeah, you hot. You hot? And then, it's like, I was brushing my face, so I went like this to see what was going on. So she's standing in front of me, looking down, right? Looking at my tool. And slowly, you know, slowly, you know, going like that. But she wasn't trying to do anything. It's like she, I can tell in her face that she's trying to resist. All right, babe. She was trying to babe. resist. Let me finish. All right. She was trying to resist. The next so, day. Hold up, so hold up. I'm not done. Why are you trying to call me You off, said man? you wouldn't share that much. But I'm okay, like, that's a lot. That was a lot. So, anyways, um, when I looked at her, I'm like, "Are you okay?" And then it's like, so she like snapped out of it. She's like, "Oh, oh yeah, I'm fine." And of course, then she, then everything went back to normal. Okay, and then Mesmerized. we went to sleep. <laughs> okay, you got to get that out. It feels good. You the, got it out. The thirst was real. <laughs> yeah, you feel good. The thirst was real. Feel good real. about yourself. Oh, I feel Four good points. about myself. Wow. Hey, you do know I feel good about myself. I know you do. <laughs> so we went, um, we went to sleep finally. Yeah. And the next day, he was like, do you want to go to the jacuzzi? While we were in the jacuzzi, um, we were just talking about stuff, talking and getting to know each other more. 
and um, he was like the settings was perfect you know she was happy she was like at her maximum happiness glowing everything was perfect it's like it's like all the stars just kind of aligned you know it's like it was like that moment like I couldn't let that moment pass so we're in the jacuzzi she's right you know so you know how the jacuzzi is like you know, have like steps steps you can sit on so we were both sitting there next to each other and then I was looking at her she's looking at me he's like hey I, I was like this so I'm like, um, I need to ask you a question and then I was like, I asked her, um, do you be my girlfriend? And um, she instantly became red, just like that. She turned so red that she put her hand in her face. She put her hand in front of her face. <laughs> so I'm standing there looking at her, I'm like, and I'm waiting for an answer. I'm I like, put my hand in my face because I was like, yo, <laughs> this boy did not protect me. Make a decision quickly. Okay, first of all. And I didn't want him to see my face. She was so smiling like, the whole time. And you know that's a lie, because I saw the smile. What do I do in this moment, God? <laughs> God, speak to me. Send me a word. Anyway, so. Send me a message. But you did say yes, though. Tell me, what do I say to this man? And what did you say? I said yes. You said yes. It happened on October 25th of 2015. 2015. We've been together for that long? Holy smoke. Crazy. So October 25th of 2015 is when we sealed the deal. We made it official. She became my girlfriend. Yeah. Lucky you. Lucky me too. Oh, okay. I was about to say. After the hotel, uh, after you know we had our trip, we had our fun and everything. So on the way back home, um, you know, all happy and yo, I got a I have the most beautiful woman in the entire planet you know i mean it's like yo i was i was i was in cloud nine you know so she was like um uh, we started playing truth or dare was it truth or dare the the, the bubble gums yeah so we bought these uh, little you know five uh bubble gum pack whatever and then the rapper had truth or dare questions you know so they're like you know truth or dare and then, and then based on the rapper you, you can you can either you know dare the person to do something or you know, ask the person to, well, whatever you know how to play how, how it's played so one of the there was that uh, for me to scream I love you from, uh, from the top of my lungs mm -hmm. right so she's like I dare you I dare you to do that I'm like oh okay so mind you I was on the highway so I pulled to the side of the highway hop out the car and like I love you out loud in the street and she recorded the whole thing I did Ready for this? I'm playing Jesus there. I'm there. I'm going to block the car and scream, I love you. I'm ready. You okay? I love you, babe! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, while, while, while I was on my way there, so we were talking and everything, so, and I remember the song from, I don't remember the artist's name. It, it went I'm like this. Love you. No, no, no. It was like, every time our eyes meet, oh. this feeling inside me. It's like a country song, but the lyrics pretty much described everything that I felt for her. So I looked it up. Oh, it's, I think it's by by McGraw. McGraw, I think his name was some country country song country country song singer. And so I put the song on on the radio or on, on, on whatever, and then I had the lyrics up on my phone, and I was singing it back to her, and she was recording me too. Yo, so it was it was dope. I mean, you know, that was love, you know, butterflies all over and everything. So I think it was lust. It was it was love. I mean, look, I was still following her lead, okay? Because remember, you made this thing. There was this rule that she made: no sex before marriage, okay? And I was determined to follow that because, again, because of my past relationship, I used to do things my way, and they, they always end up bad. So I figured. Maybe I'm the problem, so let me stop doing things my way and actually do things their way. Look at us now. 
there you have it you guys so this is our story to Horror and Horror Nights so if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and um, and make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click that little bell icon there on the side so you can be notified of future videos um, and as always thank you for tuning in to your favorite edition couple peace Pow. oh don't forget get that shirt misfitscloset.com misfitscloset.com get that yeah. Yeah. See? Power oh. of women. Yeah. 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 Yeah.